I'm supposed to film an intro. I'm working on my car today. I don't know how to do an intro. I don't even know if I can see me. It's probably horrible lighting. Bruh. CNT Racing downpipe install on the R56 Mini Cooper. Um, it's, I'm assuming it's going to be pretty straightforward. Remove the splash guard, remove the old downpipe and the old two sensor, and bolt this one in. So Kristen's actually going to be doing the whole install, and I'm going to be working on the E38. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is remove this heat shield. Now we gotta take the O2 sensor off before we can take this. This side's easy. It looks like there's a bolt up there. I know, but look at that side is what I'm saying. Oh uh, yeah, so you need to remove this one. This one. You need to loosen this right here. This looks like a uh, 14, maybe. It looks bigger than a 13. So, loosen that one. What'll help is to spray some penetrating oil onto that um. and that before. And then uh, loosen, loosen up this before this you... Uh, loosen that so that way the downpipe isn't wiggling when you're trying to take off the O2 sensor. Shaggy, working hard or hardly working buddy? Come help me out. Oh you so sweet. Come here. Oh hi bye. You're so cute. You can't do anything upside down. It's a bitch and a half to take off. So, Noah's doing it for me. Tanks, babe.
assistant Shaggy come in here please? I need your assistance. Come here Shaggy. I need your help. Come here. <laughs> Thanks buddy. Thanks for your help. Your gloves are all dirty. Well now our dog is all dirty. What? Okay, so Noah had to help me finish taking the catalytic converter. <laughs> Converter. That thing? <laughs> yeah, that thing. That thing out. And so now I'm gonna put that one in. I already put in the new gasket right here. This pretty thing. Also, we no noticed that my turbo is about to go out. Not too bad, but uh, this little shaky thing right here. There's a little bit of play in the wastegate. Not a lot, but a little bit. It'll be alright though. So now just put this in here. Should I do it from the bottom or the top? Do it from the top. They don't fit. It does fit. It don't. It's made to fit. Got it, I don't want it to fall. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna cut those uh, brackets off because it's not gonna fit. Okay, so the bracket that was holding it was in the wrong spot, so Noah just cut it off. You did a good job. Thanks. It should fit now. Yeah, the bracket's not in the way anymore. This just needs to be beaten in here a little bit. Okay, let's get it on the bottom. Now what we're doing, because the bolts, the stock bolts didn't fit, so he got one of these. But now we can't fit. Tight, so we don't have an exhaust leak. Bam. I know what I'm talking about. Okay, so we got everything back on. Oh, I need to tape that. That's why I was asking for electrical tape. Okay. No the truth, Shags. So Noah's mad at me, so I'm going to just make up for it now. So today I installed the downpipes with Noah's help, of course. And so now we're going to see what it sounds like. Or what it sounds like when I'm driving, I mean. to a shop and we're gonna get aftermarket mufflers to make it even more loud um, then after that I'm not quite sure what we're going to do just yet uh, if you like the video make sure you like and subscribe thanks guys Noah let me 
Do this to you. With fucking shit all over my face. Thanks, man. So if I looked crazy in those past videos, that's not my eyebrows. That was fucking just nasty oil. Anyways, do I still look like a freak? Okay. Bye!